Hey, what is going on? It's Tyler here and welcome to another China smartphone review. In this video I will review the Yumi Ion, a cool smartphone with some unique features. I got the phone directly from Yumi several weeks ago but have been waiting for the final software. Today the final ROM was then released over wireless update OTA and I'm now ready with the full review. If you're interested in this phone, remember also to check out the video description for more information on where to get it. And on my channel you can also find a complete unboxing and disassembling of the phone so you can see how it looks inside. So the Iron comes with the 64-bit MTK6753 octa-core chipset clocked at 1.3 GHz. It has 3 GB RAM, 16 GB ROM, a 5.5-inch 1080p full HD display using LTPS for much better brightness. It has real Android 5.1, dual SIM and of course support for 4G LTE. So the special highlights are metal backside, Sony IMX 214 rear camera, front LED flash for selfies, heart rate monitor, iPrint ID and a cool looking multicolor notification LED. Okay, let's have a look at the box and the accessories that you get with the phone. So first of all, we see the box here, Yumi, the logo in silver. So on the back side, we just have some specifications and some text. Also here in silver and uh, yeah, it's a little bit hard to see here the specifications, but I will also list these below in the video description. So please have a look there. And um, with the phone, you of course, first of all, get a wall charger. So this is just a standard wall charger, uh, five volt, one ampere. Then you get here, of course, the micro USB cable. You get also a USB on the go OTG cable. So you can connect a USB stick or other USB accessories to the phone. And last you also get here a quick start guide. You can see some information about the buttons and the features. Here we see the accessories included and we see the specifications. So that's it. Now a closer look at the phone design. So on the top we find the light and proximity sensor the 8 megapixel Omnivision front camera, the ear speaker together with a very strong front LED flash. The phone has a 5.5 inch full HD LTPS display with 441 ppi and in my opinion this display is absolute amazing. It's very sharp with high brightness and good vivid colors. In the bottom we don't find any hardware buttons as it is using software on screen buttons but we find a cool looking multicolor notification LED on the back side which is non-removable and made of metal. We have a 13 megapixel Sony IMX 214 rear camera together with a very strong dual LED flash and a real noise cancelling microphone. I think this is maybe one of the strongest dual LEDs I yet have seen on a China smartphone in this price class. Inside the phone we will also find a 3000 to 3350 mAh battery, meaning 3000 mAh is the nominal capacity and 3350 should be the max capacity. And according to Yumi it also has something called direct path from Texas Instruments which should improve the hi-fi audio output. And last we have the rear speaker which provides average sound quality not the best I have heard, but also not the worst. In the bottom of the phone we find the micro USB port together with the microphone. On the right side we find the dual SIM tray, which you have to open up with a small pin. In the top we just find the 3.5mm headphone jack. And last on the left side we find the volume rocker together with the power button. And uh, here we see a close up of the dual SIM tray. And uh, as you can see, it supports uh, dual nano SIM cards, so you can use two nano SIM cards or you can use one nano SIM card and one TF card. 
but it's not possible to use all three cards at the same time. So below in the video description I will also provide timestamps for this review so you can jump around the things I have tested and in the end of the video I will also list the pros and cons so stay tuned. Let's now have a look at the phone and the phone support double tap to wake like this and uh, we see we have some shortcuts here in the bottom you can for example uh, open up the dialer here or you can unlock directly so let's just unlock and uh, you also notice that uh, we have here the glowing notification LED in blue in the bottom here and uh, that's because uh, I have here one uh, SMS on read SMS and you can set this up you can also change the color to for example green or red or other colors so that's a really nice thing and let's have a look inside the UI I can scroll a little bit here so you can see it's really snappy and fast no lag at all let's try here inside the app drawer and uh, what I noticed is that uh, it's a lot more smooth and snappier than uh, what I've seen on the BTOUCH 2 or Elephone P7000 uh, and these are using uh, the MTK6752 while this one here is using the 6753 uh, but this one here is clocked uh, with only 1.3 GHz but it's coming with the real Android 5.1 and I believe because uh, it's uh, the 5.3 version it's optimized um, better for the 5.1 and that's a great thing because you see how smooth the UI is and uh, I really like that. Let's have a look inside the quick toggles. So you see right now I'm using a very low brightness because the screen here can get really bright as you notice. So we find here hot knot but uh, currently this ROM here is not supporting hot knot and I don't know why this shortcut is still here but uh, currently this is not working but maybe Yumi are going to release an update who knows. We find also a button end all so you can clear the memory and we also see a battery saver here so these are working great. Click here, you can see battery saver, end all and we see closed 17 apps and some memory is freed. And you also see here the on-screen buttons, software buttons, so there are no kind of hardware buttons. We only have these, uh, but uh, you in the beginning you maybe have to get used to them, but uh, so far it worked really great for me. Unfortunately you can't uh, change the layout here, you can't switch them around or something like that. They are just static like this. And uh, the vibration in the phone is actually okay. It's uh, kind of uh, hard, I would say. Uh, I can try to show you here in the testing app. Okay, let's try vibrator. So you can hear it here. So it's kind of strong and you really feel the whole phone vibrate. And let's also have a short look on the viewing angles. So you see the viewing angle here from the bottom is really good. From the side, let's try here. Also okay. And from the top, very nice. So uh, it's definitely uh, IPS one glass solution, OGS, because you can clearly see the icons still from any uh, angle here. So when you connect it to the charger, actually it will show another color in red here in the notification LED. So it will just turn on and uh, you can change the color actually in the settings. I will show this later. So set this to any color you want. Let's have a look inside the camera app. So uh, overall the camera provides some uh, very good pictures in my opinion, they are sharp, 
good details and let's see in the settings so these are just normal stock we have here all the settings here and we see it says 9.5 megapixel in full screen and let's try to set this to standard 4 to 3 so now you can choose up to 13 megapixels but these are of course then interpolated i believe the real megapixel will be about 8 to 9 as we see here and if you want to record in full hd you have to set this to fine stock it will set uh, will be set to high just and for some camera samples in full high resolution please have a look below in the video description because as always i will provide a link there to some samples so you can see the true quality we also have support for filters here in different colors and let me show you also here the front led flash how bright this is very bright front led and let me also test out the rear flash led so this one here is very strong it's dual leds and uh, they are very very strong when you look directly into them actually i'm getting blinded instantly when i look and uh, one of the special apps on the phone is uh, max equalizer so with this one here you can uh, choose from di different uh, equalizers here you can change the sound and uh, this works really great if you for example uh, you could pair some uh, bluetooth uh, uh, earphones with the phone and uh, you can also change here the bass and so on so that's kind of nice and you also see custom here you can set your own type of sound and uh, the phone also comes pre-rooted and let's just tr try to check here with root checker so we see it here super su and the super cleaner so this one you can just remove because really not needed but uh, it's there besides that the phone is pretty clean there are no other unuseful apps installed so most other apps are stock apps and uh, i can also show you the u health so here you can for example um, measure your heart rate let's try this so here you can see you have to place the finger on the light and proximity sensors okay let me just try to place my finger and we can see it starts to measure finished 85 beats per minute I don't think it's so precise but uh, for me this is just a funny gimmick and uh, the sound through headphones is very good also thanks to the max equalizer that I sh showed you before here and it's really a joy to listen to music with headphones in this phone here so uh, next up I'm going to try to put the earphones here these are the Yumi works blue headphones and I will put these up to the microphone let's try to play some music Let's now have a look at the reception. So you see right now the Wi-Fi is pretty good and the 3G network is also good. So far I did not have any kind of problems. It downloads fast and uh, the reception is stable. Wi-Fi is good. Also when I call people um, they can hear me clearly. The sound is good in the earpiece. Uh, the rear speaker is uh, as told before only average so that's not the best rear speaker but uh, for the price i think the phone does really good let us try out a test call
Okay, so let me also try the ear speaker up to the microphone so you can hear that. You have no messages in your voice box. To listen to your messages, press 1. To change your personal options, press 2. Okay, so that was the sound from the ear speaker here. Very loud and clear, as you can hear. So the phone, of course, uh, also support 4G LTE, but my SIM card here uh, is only uh, supported by 3G, so that's why I can't show you the 4G here. But let us just try to disable the Wi-Fi. And uh, let's see if I can get on the 3G. And actually, you can see here now, there's a small 3G in the corner because now it's on mobile data. The R is because I'm roaming with the card here. Let's try here the browser, open up. Let's search for something here in Google. Test, so this is working. Let me try a page. So this one will be a heavy page with a lot of pictures. Let's see how it handles the scrolling here. Pretty good. And as you notice, there are a lot of pictures on this page here. I can scroll really long here and it's really fast and loads fine. So overall, good network speed, even with 3G. And uh, here we are now inside the settings. And before we go through some of these, let me also show you here we have the buttons here in the bottom of the phone. But actually we can do like this, we can rotate. And suddenly you see we have the buttons here in, in this side. This is actually the top part of the phone, but the buttons can rotate fine okay so uh, let's have a look inside here and we in display first of all have mirror vision support you can change the color the colors here and the um, contrast and so on so you can tweak the colors like you want them to be and uh, let's see we have pulse notification light so here you can change the color enable for low battery for example incoming calls in red Let's see the colors, so you can see, you can choose many different ones here. And uh, right now you see in blue for SMS. Let's try to set this one to red. Okay, so now we see it in red here. Now it's in green. So it's working great and it looks great. Let's have a look inside the storage. So, of course, it has support for TF cards, SD cards. We have total space 12.11 GB in one big partition. So we have all the space available, so that's nice. So external USB storage is um, a USB on the go if you connect a USB on the go and this will also work fine. Let's have a look inside the apps and the RAM usage, the RAM consumption. Right now 671 is used for system apps 335, we have still 1.9 GB free, so that's totally good and fine. Let me just try to close some of the background apps here, because right now I have a lot open here as you can see. And now we have 2 GB free, so a little bit more. We have users, so here you can add users, owner or guest. You can limit the guest, for example, so he can't uh, use the dialer call out. We have location security. So inside the security, we have uh, the I verify unlock, and you can also uh, use voice unlock. Unlock. Okay, so you can see it unlocks. Open phone. And you can see I say open phone and it will open up the dialer. And for instance, you can also learn it to open up the camera or something else. So that's pretty nice.
Okay, so here we are now back in the settings and let me also show you the eye verify unlock. So uh, here you have to place your eyes just like on the picture here and press start and uh, it will scan your eyes. And uh, later when you then unlock you have to, to place your, your eyes in front of the screen in about yeah this position here and um, then it will scan and unlock the device but uh, the problem with this is that this takes about seven seconds maybe 10 seconds sometimes before it will recognize your your eyes and that's just too long for my taste i don't want to wait that long it's faster with a pin code then or just to, or to swipe to unlock uh, and if you're using this on the street you'll also uh, look like a fool with the phone up to your head like like this so yeah for me it's a gimmick and uh, not that useful but um, it's cool that uh, Yumi are trying to add some features to the phone and people can decide if they want to use it or not okay so here you see here it will uh, have you have to place your eyes here in the front here and it will begin to learn the eye let's proceed here in the settings we have language and input here and most languages are supported here it's multi-language let me just scroll through these very quick here and we find about phone so here you can see my build number this is the version 0.10 so this is the latest version I got today. We see the kernel version, Android version, model number, and it also support, of course, OTA. So uh, that's it for the settings. Okay, so now to the live GPS test. I went this outside and recorded so we could see it here. Now it's finding the satellites, it gets a fix now, so that was really quick. You can see now uh, the satellites are here and we don't have any kind of uh, GLONASS support, so only normal satellites are found. We see the accuracy is down on four to five meters, so it's okay and uh, it seems to be stable as you notice. So overall the GPS seems to be good fixed time was 5 seconds really fast now I'm going to run some different test apps and show you some results and also in the end show a game I will turn up for the background music as always so let's check it out
both are in the same brightness, so let's just check. Here and here, both in full. And I just turned down the brightness on my camera a little bit. And here you can see it's more white and bright here to the right and it's more dimmed here to the left on the LED TV. But as you saw, the LED TV here is also in full brightness mode here, 100%. So that's the difference about these two screens here. And that's why I think the screen is really good on the Yumi Ion. So we are now in the end of this review and I will now list some of the pros and cons. So first to the pros. I really like the shape, size and materials used on this phone. Overall it is very nice. And one thing you'll notice in the start is how light it is in the hand. The screen has good brightness and is very vivid and sharp thanks to full HD. In my opinion the screen is above average and a little bit better than seen on other China smartphones in the same price class. The GPS accuracy is good and is very fast to get a lock, but it does not support GLONASS and the signal strength was what I would call just average, but all in all a good working GPS. The camera I would say is good, it's in the eye of the beholder, but I was fully satisfied with the camera quality and the pictures and the phone has a strong LED flash both on the rear and front side, so even selfies can be taken in the dark with this phone. The phone has a cool notification LED in multicolor and it is very strong and easy to see. This is definitely a plus for this phone. Games and multitasking runs pretty well. With the 3GB RAM most stuff runs fine and while I tested the phone the UI was always very smooth and snappy. I didn't experience any kind of lag or stutter. The battery is definitely good for one whole day. Of course, it also depends on how many features you have activated, like GPS, Bluetooth, etc., and how heavy you are going to use the phone. So, to the cons are that it has some funny features like the iPrint ID, heart rate monitor, etc., but for me, these are just funny gimmicks as they are not so useful for daily use. The heart rate monitor works, but the results are not always correct. The iPrint ID was also working but a bit hard to use and too slow to recognize your eyes so that's not a feature I'm going to use. The MTK6753 SoC is only clocked at 1.3 GHz so on paper it is slower than the MTK6752 which runs with 1.7 GHz but in return Android 5.1 is much better optimized, so the Iron runs much smoother in the UI than for example the Ulephone P Touch 2 or Elephone P7000. Also I must say that most games run just fine with the MTK6753. The phone has a pretty thick black bezel around the display, it would have looked much better without that. The rear speaker only provides average sound quality. Not the best, but also not the worst I have heard. But I must also say that uh, if you're listening to music through Bluetooth headphones, the sound quality is not bad at all, it's really really good. The phone has plastic parts in the top and bottom because of the antennas, so the frame is not really a metal frame. Actually it is just the whole back cover in the center that is made of real metal, but still it is very solid and cannot be bent. And last it claims to have a lot of different built-in sensors, but uh, some of them like the gyroscope and e-compass I was unable to verify, so I can't confirm if these are there or not. Well guys that's it for the review, remember also to check out my blog, you find the link in the video description. If you have any questions feel free to comment below, give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.